Welcome to Valiant Rabbit Workshop. Let's make something. Was the boogeyman? As a matter of fact, it was. You're going to camp blood, ain't you? You'll never come back again. It's got a death curse. Wasn't that fun? Hope you're ready to create now too. What you're seeing here is a very abbreviated version of the sculpting of these guys. If you want to see the full video on the sculpting, check out the link on the top right or down in the description. Just a quick note, I used Nomad on my iPad Pro to sculpt these guys up, and then I used ZBrush to cut them up and key them and prep them for print. Here's a quick look at the print output. Again, if you'd like to see a little more detail on this, check out the earlier videos in this series. Here you can see I begin post-print model cleanup. I found that on this Swiss Army knife, this bottle opener works really well for removing the supports. It has a beveled edge, which allows me to get into the crease and with one good twisting motion, remove material easily. My little Jay character was inspired by different versions of Jason Voorhees. Here's the first one. Can you come up with the rest? I'll show you later. Little Mikey's ears in the wrong spot with only one solution. We'll add a prosthetic one on for him later. I like to use these metal files on problem areas for aggressive layer removal. As you can see here, the layers are very visible. With a bit of filing, you can see we have much smoother result for much easier painting. Here we can see another example of layer removal on the straps of Jason's mask. Check out the link in the description so you can get your own set of files to smooth out some layers. On previous videos, I've used wood filler to fix problem areas on the models, but today I decided to use this resin clay to fix those spots. If you'd like to see that wood filler method, check out the link for the video up top. If you're enjoying the video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're really enjoying it, subscribe. I got more videos on the way. We got some shop upgrades and a lot more creative projects coming your way. been able to guess which other versions of Jason I used to inspire this little toy? Here he is, check out Jason in his tactical gear. This one's from Jason Lives, one of the sillier Friday the 13th, but still a fun watch. I highly recommend it. Let's finish putting these boys together and move on to paint.
We begin the painting with a couple of coats of black primer. I went ahead and hit him with some white primer up top, hoping that it might cause some sort of effect on the paint job. Then we moved to the garage to do some airbrushing. I just kind of wanted to get a blue undercoat on little Mikey. Although I wasn't too happy with the results, I ended up painting over it later. So these two are probably some of the most iconic characters in horror. And interestingly enough, they are very similar. We all know Michael Myers came first. Although some would say maybe Friday the 13th was a more successful franchise. Could it be Jason was more iconic? Maybe it was the hockey mask. I mean, both characters, depending on which Halloween timeline you follow, turn into some sort of supernatural character by the time they reach their sixth or seventh movie. Although, some would say Michael Myers was never human. He is described as kind of the physical embodiment of evil. I met this six-year-old child with this blank, pale, emotionless face and the blackest eyes, the devil's eyes. I spent eight years trying to reach him and then another seven trying to keep him locked up because I realized that what was living behind that boy's eyes was purely and simply evil. And that was kind of the cool mystique of Michael Myers. Of course, they kind of jumbled it all up in the sequels. If you follow the timeline of Halloween 4, 5, and 6, 7, 8, whatever, the last one there was Busta Rhymes. Of course, now they're trying to redeem the franchise by doing a sequel straight from the first one. Although I always enjoyed the second Halloween movie. Well, we'll see how it goes. What do you guys think? Do you think the Halloween franchise is more iconic than Friday the 13th? Are they equally iconic? Which one of those villains is your favorite? Let me know in the comments. I'm actually really interested. Hardcore Jason fans can probably already guess from this purple skin which is the last Jason to inspire this guy. It is of course the NES version. Purple skin and turquoise mask. I wanted to do a little experiment, put some red paint with some UV resin over it to see if I can do the blood like that on the blades. It didn't work out that way, so I ended up mixing the paint with the resin and just putting it on the blades. This actually worked out pretty well. It worked out well in the sense that I could put it on and hit it with the UV light and it would harden enough to stay in place. Although. The consistency of it stays sticky and kind of pasty. Let's check out the final results.
Now wait a minute, I think we left out one of our little horror friends here. 